Hey guys, this is my 21 week bump date. Um, really sorry that it's late. Um, just had a really long weekend and kind of go into a little bit of that with symptoms. Um, I want to talk about the symptoms that I've had. So we'll go ahead and get started. So at 21 weeks, baby is about um, 10 and a half inches long or about the size of a large carrot. Um, baby would also be about three-fourths of an ounce. I'm sorry, <laughs> three-fourths of a pound. So about 12 ounces. Um, as far as development goes, baby's eyebrows are now growing in. Uh, baby can now taste uh, some of the foods that I'm eating in the amniotic fluid and baby's also getting small amounts of sugar and other nutrients through the amniotic fluid uh, because baby's still swallowing amniotic fluid basically practicing breathing swallowing building up all that uh, stuff for birth um, as far as my size goes I'm now at 150, so that's total gain of 15 pounds. Um, the belly's measuring at 37 inches, and the breasts are measuring at 42 inches. Um, so as far as my development and my symptoms go, I'm feeling a lot more movement, definitely a lot more movement and obviously stronger movements, which makes sense with the baby getting bigger. Um, and also, I know I've talked about that I've been feeling the baby move from the inside and the outside, but I also finally got to see the baby move, meaning my belly. <laughs> and that was just really cool because I haven't been able to actually see it yet. I can feel it, uh, but I haven't been able to see it, but now I'm able to actually see those movements when he gets really active. So that was exciting. Um, so, kind of going into why this bump date was a little bit late is um, a new symptom. And I read about this. <laughs> and so um, I wasn't too terribly worried about it, but it was just slightly concerning. But Sunday, um, pretty much from midday on, I had this really bad sharp pain like right under my belly button. So basically like it almost felt like somebody had a knife and they were stabbing me through my belly button. And that was really just, that just freaked me out a lot. Um, because any kind of sharp pains are concerning to me, but, um, you know, I read that it can be normal, and so I was like, well, I'm just going to basically take it easy. I'm going to put myself on bed rest for the rest of the day, and um, when I get up tomorrow, if it's still there, I'm going to call the doctor and see what I need to do or if I need to do anything. So that's why I ended up not filming anything. I was really just kind of stressed out that day and just worried and not wanting to like get up and do stuff. So um, again, sorry it was late, but I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Um, and just for the record, <laughs> when I woke up Monday, it was totally gone, so I don't know what that was but it's gone and everything's going fine and I feel good about it now um oh yes random pregnancy insomnia so I haven't gotten the just every night insomnia yet <clears throat> but definitely sleep is harder to come by um and it's not just not being able to go to sleep. Mainly it's just waking up a lot. Um, so for example, one of the worst nights was, I believe it was like last Tuesday, but I woke up twice because I had to use the bathroom and 
and then I woke up because of some pretty bad hip pains. Those hip pains are getting more frequent and they're now waking me up. So that's, that kind of sucks. But um, at least it's not every single night. But, oh yeah, and that night I also had a nosebleed, which I haven't had a nosebleed in a long, long time. I would say it's probably been probably been about six months since my last nosebleed and I used to get them a lot as a child but really once I turned 20 they pretty much went away I might have one one a year but of course mine had to happen the night that I had already gotten up three times that night so that's kind of been how my nights have been going I would say about 50% of the time I have a good night's sleep um, if I get up once to use the bathroom and go right back to sleep, I still consider that a good night's sleep because it just doesn't, it doesn't affect me, but having to get up multiple times definitely does. Um, and then I've also started having some mild heartburn, nothing too bad, just, um, a little bit of heartburn. I was actually kind of excited about it when I was telling my husband, he was like, why are you? talking like that's a good thing and I was just like well I'm excited because I haven't been able to say I've had many pregnancy symptoms so it's just nice to kind of feel pregnant <laughs> um as far as doctor's appointment goes I did have my 20 week anatomy scan and if you don't know what that is it's basically just ultrasound where they look at every single part of the baby arms legs hands feet you know everything they even look at the brain they look at the heart they look at all the inter internal organs and everything was perfectly normal so he's looking great um, he was measuring measuring one day ahead as far as um, just length I guess or but also he was uh, they were measuring him at about 13 ounces so he was probably a few ounces um, ahead of schedule <laughs> so um, really everything in that scan was perfect and we got to to see him he's he's very fidgety with his feet and um, one thing that I love he just he had his hand up like this through the majority of the ultrasound kind of like oh, goodness mom driving me crazy so um, I just thought that was really cute the ultrasound tech was like come on move your hand so I can get a good profile picture he ended up moving his hand towards the end so we got some good profile pictures and um, yeah I think that was about it um, as far as what I've been doing um, the one thing that I did not get done on time was my birth plan which I'm pretty bummed about um, but still working on that and really just trying to get caught up on baby books so I've gotten, I've gotten kind of far behind on those so I was trying to stay up with them and like read weekly based on where I was so, um, definitely need to get caught up on that. But other than that, I've just been working like crazy, um, we had some changes at my job though, so I've got a new position. Um, basically, I'm clearing out all of my old cases now, and then I probably will not start getting any more cases until um, I get back from maternity leave. Um, so I will be returning to work. Um, Probably when he's about three or four months old is when I plan to go back. Um, so that is it for 21 weeks, guys. I'll show you my belly. Um, it's definitely starting to look like a pregnant belly now. It's starting to round out, so that's really exciting. But I will show you that, and then I think that should be it.
but there it is. All right, guys, if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and um, leave me a comment down below, uh, especially if you have video ideas. I'm kind of looking for more ideas. I do still have a few pregnancy journals to review, um, and at some point I want to go over the, um, like basically what I have, so baby buys and stuff with you guys. Um, one thing I really want to do is name reveal, so if you have any suggestions for that, leave that down in the comments, because uh, we do have a name, so that's super exciting. And, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.